Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a Synology NAS device model DS415+, how to recover files from the network recycle bin and how to enable it, how to retrieve files from the hard disk of an, of an inoperable NAS system and recover files after a failed attempt to transfer them from an old device to a new one, and how to restore information from a damaged disk array. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. NS, which stands for Network Attached Storage, is a server that allows to organize storing your information and interacting with it over the network. NAS-based RAID systems are quite popular, as this type of network storage is a practical, reliable, efficient and affordable solution used to store data by individuals and small businesses alike. However, they are vulnerable to various errors and, of course, the human factor, just as any other device meant to organize data storage and configure RAID arrays. An accidental removal, software and hardware failures, mistakes in configuration, and so on – all of them may result in losing important information no matter what RAID level your storage is using. As a result of an error, the NAS will no longer provide you with access to the file storage. Therefore, you'll need specialized software tools to extract your data from the failed NAS. In case of an accidental removal, you can try and recover files from the network recycle bin, and you're going to see us do all of these things in a second. Let's first explore the situation with accidental removal. If your NAS works alright and the network drive can be accessed but you accidentally deleted some data from the disk, you can try to recover it from the recycle bin. First of all, check if this option is enabled on your device for the folder from which the data was removed. Do it by opening the control panel, shared folder, then find the required folder, select it, and click Edit. The option Enable Recycle Bin must be checked. If this option is enabled, open the FileStation app for your NAS device, go to the Recycle folder, find the files you have removed accidentally, right-click on them, and then choose Download. or copy to, move to. And then specify the directory for saving them. Then click OK. After that, go to this folder and check if the file is there. This is how you can restore an accidentally removed file from the recycle bin of your NAS device. If this recycle bin option was disabled for this folder at the time when the data was removed, you'll have to use specialized software for your recovery needs. Hetman RAID Recovery will help you fix the problem. Take the drives out of the NAS device and connect them to a Windows computer. Start the program, right-click on the disk from which the data was removed and click Open. Select the scan type and wait until it's over. Open the detected partition and find the deleted files by this special marking. Go to the folder from which the information was removed, find the files you want to recover, select them, click Recover, choose where you want to save them, and click Recover again. This is actually the final step in recovering files. 
In case of a hardware or software error, run configuration of the NAS storage, a failed attempt to transfer data or other situations which result in loss of access to the network drive or damage to the thread system, the first step is the same – to take out the disks and connect them to a Windows computer. When the program starts, it will automatically rebuild the damaged RAID system. If you are suggested to initialize the disks, don't agree. This can erase the remaining data. Hetman RAID Recovery is a comprehensive solution for NAS data recovery to help you restore your files in a number of different scenarios. This program supports most popular file systems, including those used in NAS devices. It will find the information needed for recovery, such as RAID, first sector number, block size, number, and order of disks. The utility also features an advanced mechanism of automatic scanning designed to identify and recover NAS data in various scenarios of data loss. Thanks to its automatic scan feature, the utility will analyze the disks, read their service information, and rebuild the damaged RAID system. The RAID information is displayed below. Check if the program has read it correctly. Right-click on the array and choose Open. Select the scan type and start the analysis. The program will analyze the disks and display their contents when the operation is over. Now it has found all the data stored on the disk array. Select the files you want to recover and click Recovery. Then choose where you want to save them. When the recovery process is over, you'll find all the files in the folder you have chosen. Now let's explore how to recover data from a Synology Hybrid RAID. Synology Hybrid RAID, or SHR for short, is an automated RAID management system developed to simplify data storage management and satisfy the needs of users who are new to the vast variety of RAID systems. The SHR can combine disks of different size to create a volume with the required capacity and performance, while using less disk space and achieving more storage flexibility. With a sufficient number of disks, this RAID type ensures redundancy for one or two disks, which means that the logical volume of such array remains operable with its information intact, and even if one or two physical disks fail. This RAID type also has a peculiar data storage structure, which is supported by only a handful of recovery tools. Fortunately, Hetman RAID Recovery can restore data from this RAID type. To start the recovery, take the drives out of the NAS device and connect them to the motherboard of a Windows computer. As soon as the program starts, you will see it has automatically detected the hybrid array type and now displays the correct information about this RAID. Right-click on the array to open it, select the scan type, start it, and wait until it's over. As you can see, all the information remaining on the disk is available for recovery, and the program has even found the deleted files. You can distinguish them by the special marking. Also, there is a preview feature, which is very convenient when you look for specific photos, videos, or documents. Select the files you want to recover and click Recovery. Then choose where you want to save them. Depending on the RAID type, the program can recover RAID data even if one or several disks are missing. In NAS devices, RAID systems are divided into several types, including arrays containing the operating system and arrays containing the data. In case of a RAID with the operating system, this operating system is installed to the array in order to manage NAS data. In case of a RAID containing data, the array only stores information, and the operating system is installed to a separate drive. Hetman RAID Recovery supports both array types, and in the end, you will see one disk with the operating system of the storage device and the other disk containing the data. When a disk is damaged or service information is erased, the program may have difficulties with rebuilding the RAID automatically. However, you can do it manually with the RAID constructor if you know the properties of this damaged array. Open the constructor and select Manual mode, then fill in all the information you know. The RAID type, 
block order in size. Add the disks it used to include. Use the arrows to specify the order and replace the missing disks with empty drives by clicking the plus button. Usually, a properly built RAID system has at least one partition expanded to check for the folders that you need. If you see files displayed in the folders, it means the RAID system was built properly. When all the properties are given, click Add for the RAID system to appear in the Drive Manager. For recovery, scan the array you have just added. Look for the files you need. Select and recover them. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.